All righty. So we have five minutes left for masterminding on movement. And um, I was telling Beck that I got some bonus time in my hour and it's a self-care book. I found this at Target around Mother's Day last year and I bought it and now it just feels like a really good time to dive deep into it. Um, and there is a section in here that is like talking about mind movement and there's a reading section and movement and how to get your home moving with energy, um, clean eating things. Like it's a really interesting book, but when I, um, opened it up because something that I've been really, um, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Something that I've been really working on and continuing to work on is identifying boundaries. And I thought that was cool because that is also something that we can build that muscle of movement on is drawing those boundaries, knowing that it's okay to continue to say no to things that aren't serving you and things that aren't in alignment for what you need at this very time. And again, that can change over time. So making sure that your the movement in your mind is focused on what you need to be saying yes to right now and what you need to be saying no to. And right now in this phase of my life, I know that I need to be saying no to scrolling on social media. I know that I need to be plugged into places where I can show up as myself on rough days because there are rough days. Um, so drawing that boundary when people want me to check things out that I know are just going to be mindless scrolling that are going to get me down the spiral, having that boundary with myself and drawing that boundary like okay, if you're going to go online, drawing that boundary that it's something that is positive. So that was about, that was why I pulled out the book because I had that mind in that boundary. I was like, okay, Johnny, you need to do something productive here. That's going to keep your mind going in a positive way to help dig through things. And there's an exercise in here that um, I think what I'm going to do is actually take a picture of it if it's okay. And I'll post it in the group, but I also will share on here in case you're catching the replay and you want to check any of it out. And um, it's uh, a boundary exercise. It says two blank sheets, excuse me, lady, stay. Get two blank sheets of paper out and a pen that you love to write with. So make sure that it's a pen that makes you feel good. Um, it's not just a pen that you're grabbing off the counter, like something, if it's your favorite color, your favorite pen, whatever. And take out a, um, on one piece of paper, fold it in half lengthwise and unfold the paper. Title at the top on the left-hand side, safe. And then title on the right-hand side of the column, unsafe. Lady, my gosh, <laughs> my dog is like really wants to be in here. And then on the left-hand side, make a list of all things in your life that make you feel safe. Examples, your favorite people who make you feel emotionally safe. So like, again, this is a really cool thing for me because I'm really, really focused on keeping my mental health well, as well as my physical health, um, a movie that gets you to a good place. So if you're struggling and, um, that boundary coming up with a movie that makes you feel good, uh, a lady, um, a song or something that resonates with you, a type of clothing that you like to wear that makes you feel safe and makes you feel good. Maybe it's, for me, I know that when I'm struggling physically, I like to put on my fitness wear because it makes, it reminds me of my body shape and my body. I worked in knowing that the body that we have is worked hard for. Oh my gosh, dog. And um, so it's just a reminder to me, like, a mental check, like, Hey, you've come far. Don't forget that. Um, and then amount of money that makes you feel financially secure in the safe column, the kind of home or shelter that makes you feel safe and free time that lets you be yourself. So those are some ideas in that, um, column. And I think on the next hour, we will piggyback to this. So, um, we will, continue on that.